Hey guys, Nathan here, and today I got another video. Today's video is the second video in this series of me collecting every LEGO Star Wars set. Um, so about the last, I think, two weeks or three weeks since I last made a video, I've been making a lot of orders on eBay. And as you see over here, I have a bunch of boxes to go through. I'm um, going to go through each one, one by one, and just show you what I got. Let me clear up my minifigures over here. The one package that did come in was in kind of an envelope, so I opened it just to make sure it was okay. And that was this. This is the Flash Speeder 7124, 105 pieces. Obviously, I think this one. Yeah, this one's from 2000. So I did collect all the 1999 sets. I took a bunch of sets down and have them all displayed. So my 1999 collection is 100% complete now. I'm starting 2000. Whoever bought this, I believe this is an old Walmart tag. Bought it for $7. Um, I'm buying all these sets mostly sealed now. I did buy a lot of the 1999 sets open, but I think it's just the safest way to go to make sh to ensure that you get everything you want. So that's the first set. Um, obviously, I try to go in order from you, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think some of the sets in this um, haul are from a lot of different years, um, just because they were cheaper. I'm going the cheaper route. I'm also going to open... All of these, um, wow, this is packaged really well. All of them upside down, just so no personal information gets shown. Don't actually know what this one is. I don't honestly remember what I ordered. This looks like, ooh, okay, sweet. So this is sealed again. This is the final duel. The second final duel, so final duel 2, 7201, you got Luke, a stormtrooper, and then an Imperial officer. Is this one from, yep, oh, this is 2002, so obviously these sets are going to be um, a lot of random use. They're not going to all be 2000. I'm just going to have to keep track of my sets and remember which ones that I bought. Let's get into the next box. Using kind of a box cutters instead of a knife, instead of a scissors. To ensure that I don't, hopefully don't cut into whatever set I got. Here's another one. Love these packaging. Ooh. Yeah, some of these I honestly don't remember. And this box, oh, this is a used one. Okay. Whoa. This thing is really, this thing is really packaged well for a used set. Box is kind of beat up, but wow. Try not to stress the box. I've never seen someone package a used set quite like this before. Kind of unfortunate that the box is like this, but um, it is used, of course, as you see. I don't think I bought this one. I mean, that's pretty new, I'd say. It doesn't even look like it's been played with maybe more than once. Um, here's a chance to look at the old... Wow. That is really cool. That is the old C-3PO. From what year is this one? 2001. So, again, a little bit out of order. Let me jump out the... That's the old R2-D2. Yeah, this is like... Most of these listings I find that are, they say used... They're really just opened and maybe built once. Um, the only unfortunate part about this box is it's the flaps are completely tore off. But other than that, that is the 7106 Joy Escape. Get all these papers out of here. Um, let me open this one. Let's see what I think this is the best way to do it. I have no idea what this. What is it? Is this the? I think I have an idea what this is. Wow. Imperial ATSD. Packaging has been absolutely superb up to this point. And the coloring really is, when I saw this listing, I thought the coloring was kind of off, but um, that's just weird how the coloring is so old. Um, obviously used. Um, this is the 7127 Imperial ATST. We actually pop this tape off. 
cut it if I can. That is old. Again, like when I when they say use, this is like this is like shining. This isn't like dirt on the top. It is this is like straight up like I built it once and I put it away. Let me see if I can find the find the Chewbacca minifigure. There it is. The old Chewbacca. I mean I will take it. These I am very fortunate with these eBay listings I found. That when they say used, it's not very used. It is like very limited in the way it's been used. Obviously box get beat up. I can tape some of these boxes back up the best I can, but that is the 7127 Imperial ATST. I'll take it, you know. Oh, and look at that. Almost threw the box away. Instructions were in the box, so. Those old instructions. What year is this one from, actually? I like knowing every. This one is. I don't see a year on it. Uh, 2001. So, again, not all in order. Um, and I do believe there's a set I ordered from literally not that many, like, I think one or two years ago that I just didn't get. Um. Because again, this has just been a hot, this has been an idea of mine to own every Lego Star Wars set just in the last like, you know, seven or eight months. It's not something that I wanted since day one, but the old sets interest me so much. And man, this packaging has been like perfect so far. I love the way these people are packaging them. Hopefully there's nothing important in there, like the instructions last time. You can't ask for better packaging. Um, the question is, can I get it open without damaging the box? So this is packaged extremely well. And with paper around it. So let's see what this one is. It's like I'm opening a Christmas present. Oh, gotcha. And I bought a lot of you. Oh, I remember this one. So the story with this one, oh, and they even put they even put paper in here. How nice! This was a set I ordered, and the order got canceled a couple days after I ordered it. It said it was either out of stock or someone had already ordered it or something. I don't really know what was going on with it. Um, but this is the seven one three four A wing fighter. Again, used, but again, again, what must I say? used not very much i mean there's no dirt on the pieces these pieces are almost shining minifigures are intact like and the instructions like you can't ask for much more again i don't know what's people i don't know why people are tearing the flaps off the boxes oh they're stuck here that's why um that might actually be an easier way i might start doing that with mine but that is the a-wing again that set i originally ordered the order got canceled I don't know what was going on with that, if it was something to do with the virus or whatever was going on. The seller contacted me and said, hey, we don't actually have this item anymore. Man, I don't remember ordering this many sets. Back-to-back -back weeks, I think I ordered about five or six sets each day. And I bought a lot of used, it seems like. Some paper, newspaper. And this is the 7104 Desert Skiff tape on this the heck did I get scammed <laughs> me some well that's nice to know yeah that's a that's a de desert skiff all right guys that's a desert skiff I got a box full of instructions. As I just talked about how nice eBay sellers are, I get scammed. He literally filled a box with instru- I, Like, what is this even from? I don't know what I paid for this, but I'm definitely gonna contact the seller and make sure I looked at the listing right. Cause this is no desert skiff. This is- what the hell? Lego system 6903. This is just a bunch of random instructions. Um, that is very disappointing. 
I don't think I paid that much for it, maybe ten or fifteen dollars. Here's the actual instructions for the set, but um unless it's two separate packages and I open another one and find the set. I mean, that is no desert skiff, there's no minifigures. There's not even a single part, because this does not go with that. I have no idea where this even came from. So, I'm so glad that there's a loser out there who sells Lego like this. But that's very unfortunate. That's my first bad, um, that's my first bad Lego experience off eBay. You know, 99% of the people are good people, and then there's people like this. Unless I read the listing wrong, and it... Under the description, it said not an actual set; it's a box of instructions. But who sells um, who sells a set like that? This one I'm gonna have to open off camera because the only way to open it is from the front, and I don't need to be showing personal information. Man, right after I say I've had a good time with eBay, then come comes along a person like that who scams you. Um, so that was supposed to be the desert skiff, but it turned out to be a scam. This one's packaged really well. It's, well, that, I guess that's supposed to be my name. I don't know. Um, wow, that's really unfortunate. I'm gonna have to make sure I remember the seller and put feedback on that. He did. Uh, he the girl scam. Oh, I forgot about this one. This is sealed too. I don't remember ordering this sealed. Um, this is the 7115 Gungan Patrol. This should be from 2000. Yes, 2000. They bought it at KB Toys. I've never heard of that before. Sealed, so this is. I think this is only one or two. The other three sets that are sealed. Get this scam out of the way. Get all these instructions out of here. That's really unfortunate in them. Kind of upset that some of them. So you guys would even have to see that that's how some people act on the internet. But I mean, I guess I got you know twelve dollars worth of instructions and an empty box and some random parts. But so I'm gonna have to go back online and order a desert skiff. Um, I'm just hoping I didn't pay too much money for that because I literally didn't get jack shit. Sorry for the language, but that's that's very annoying. Um, Aha, and this is the one I was talking about. This obviously is not from 1999, and this is very cheap. I think someone was selling this for like $9 or something. Um, this is the Imperial Patrol Battle Pack from, I think, 2017. 2018, wow. Um, 99 pieces, 75207. This is just one I never bought. Um, I think I bought almost all the solo sets. Um, I don't remember, actually. I don't think I have any display. I do actually have some displayed. I have Han Speedo and Moloch Speedo both displayed and the Swoop Bikes. Um, I just don't think I got the Kessel Gun Millennium Falcon because they came out with so many of those couple years. And then the uh, the giant uh, train, motorized train. Well, not motorized, but you know what I mean, the train from the movie. Um, so this is one I picked up. It was Again, it was cheap. I saw it was $9.00. I was looking into battle packs from all the years and this one popped up and I said, hey, for $9 I'll take a battle pack that I'm pretty sure sold for 15 So, that's probably the newest set you're going to see on here from literally two years ago. Simply because I didn't have it and I'd like to add it to the collection and anytime a set is cheap, I will buy it. Ooh, my first Star Wars Technic set, if you can't tell. There's some info on the bottom. So this one is, I have a pile of boxes I'm going to have to clean up. This is brand new. Box is a little beat up, but not bad. A little tearing on the front. This is Technic. Technic line started in, let's see, where's the year? I don't see a year on here. I think it was 2000. Either 2000 or 2001. I don't see a year on the box, but um, this is the 8000 pit droid from episode one um i might have another one actually in here but this is awesome this is my first technic set this line started i think in 2000 and i think it went for a couple years until it died down now they of course have the buildable figures which i don't even know if they're continuing those but happy about this one it's uh 217 pieces these are displayed a little bit differently than the normal sets yeah i don't see a year but 
It is brand new. I don't think I paid that much for it. Maybe 30 or 40, which isn't bad because for some reason these Technic sets go. That's so weird that there's no you in this box. That's fine. So that is the Technic Pit Droid. And then I have two big boxes off to the right. Um, that's the best way to open this one. I really don't see a way to open this box. I'm just gonna tear into it this way. Oh. Okay, I guess that was way easier. There's really no. Okay. Ooh! See, I totally forgot about some of these. Let me go this way. Wow. I can't tell what that is already. I really don't remember what in these. I put it in the walnut bag. This is used, I can tell, because it was. I think I felt it was open. Yeah, it's open on one side. Let's make sure I don't get scammed again. Nope. And Grievous is in here. At least his top half is. <laughs> I see his leg. I see his arms. I see his arms and his head. I don't see his legs anywhere. Hopefully they're in here, but this is... The oh, General Grievous Starfighter from is this 2007. 2007. 7656. Six. General Grievous Starfighter. 232 pieces. Um, here's a set right here. Oh, I see his legs. So actually, let me grab those out. Grab his legs. And then grab. That is. The 2000, and let me see if that will focus. The 2007 General Grievous White. So glad I got this because I hear sometimes the set goes for a lot just for his body. I think this was 40 for a used set, which isn't bad, you know. And these are the instructions with him on the back. It's really, oop, let me get it to focus again. There we go. It's really fun to see some of these old sets. These are some I'm going to have to get battle packs and such. Um, so that is John Grieve Starfighter. I'll be building that one up and adding it to my shelves if I can because I've had to take down a lot recently to make room. Um, and then we got one more big box. I think I have an idea what this one is. I think it's from uh, a similar year. I think it might be from 2006. Let me tear this side open. A lot of bubble wrap. Oh, maybe not. Whoa. Is that used? As you can tell. Um, I opened it up just to make sure it's all there with the scamming. Every other set was completely fine. It was just the one guy. You know, I might have read the list in long, long as I said. But this is the 7180 B-Wing at Rebel Control Center. 338 pieces. And this one is from 2000. So, going along the 2000 sets, that is 